Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. In this video, I am going to talk about one of the basic Java interview questions. Can abstract class have constructors in Java? You know, construct, uh, abstract class cannot be instantiated. So what is the point having a constructor in abstract class? First of all, can we have a constructor in abstract class? Yes. Abstract class can declare and define constructor in Java. Since you cannot create instance of the abstract class, constructor can only be called during constructor chaining. Constructor chaining means when this concrete class subclasses are called from the subclass uh, uh, the, the, the super class constructors will be called like super super open bracket close bracket so this is called constructor chaining so till it will reach object object dot java file so thus that is called constructor chaining when you create an instance of concrete implementation this abstract class constructor will be called now some interviewer asks what is the purpose of a constructor if you cannot instantiate abstract class well it, it can still be utilized to initialize the common variables which are declared, insi declared inside the abstract class and used by various implementation it's like you will have a common behavior in your abstract class in order to uh, achieve the common behavior in your abstract class you might have some common variables in order to construct those common variables we can have constructor then also if you also even if you don't want to provide constructor compiler will add default no argument constructor in abstract class without that your subclass will not compile since first statement in any constructor implicit equal super default super class constructor in java so abstract class will have a constructor whether you add it or the compiler will add it I have written a very simple uh, class which is an abstract class and I have a constructor and there are some variables which is common to this class and I want to in initialize these variables in the in the abstract like constructor but when this constructor will be called that's the point so I have another concrete class which is going to extend from this abstract class and I'm going to initialize this the moment I initialize here okay we initialize the concrete class abstract like constructor will be called let's debug this and check how exactly it works okay so now if you see it goes to the abstract class constructor can you see so it goes to the abstract class constructor constructor then it initializes the abstract class common variables so this is the purpose of a constructor in the abstract class. Hope this video is useful. Thank you and all the best.